Over the years, I've been exposed to thousands of small gaming YouTubers. I've been in small YouTuber groups, witnessed kids, adults, people from all walks of life, shoot, even myself, make the exact same mistakes over and over again. And I know that small-time content creators make up a hearty percentage of my audience, so this video is aimed directly at you. It might, and I fully expect it to piss some of you off, but there's some business I got on my chest and I need to share it. If you're starting out making a YouTube channel, the first thing you should realize, the number one obstacle, the most important thing to get through your fat skull is that by default, nobody cares about you. Nobody cares. Say it out loud to yourself. Nobody cares. Everyone's question after finding a new channel isn't, who is this guy? It's, what sets this fucking nitwit apart from every other gamer on the internet? And rightfully so. You can obsess about your tags, what your thumbnails look like, or the fucking mic that you use, but if you can't adequately and efficiently answer the question, why should we care, then nobody will. YouTube is a grind, it's a marathon. Making videos, if you want them to be watchable, takes work. Your two hour Minecraft Let's Play better take longer than two hours to make. Your Among Us Funny Moments compilation? If you have to fucking tell me it's funny, it's not funny! Success isn't handed to you. That's true in life and on YouTube. Gaining an audience, respect, clout, as I've heard it called, isn't something that you haphazardly stumble onto. It's not something you fucking find. You need to earn it. If you've ever thought, gee, if only I could get a shout out from some large YouTuber, if only the YouTube algorithm would notice me, then I'd have it made! If you think that the only thing your channel needs to be successful is more exposure, then you are not ready for success. If you're not open to changing your strategy, if you're not open to accepting that, fuck, right now, maybe your content's just not good enough yet, if you're never open to changing your mindset, you will fail. Your videos are not good enough. My videos are not good enough. Our videos are not good enough. Everything happens for a reason. And sure, yeah, you can point to this here and there, and luck does play some kind of a factor. But you can only get lucky if you're good first. YouTube is an open market. If people want to watch your stuff, they will watch your stuff. Exactly one year ago today, I uploaded a review of the Super Nintendo game Draken. That same day, the same day, the much larger channel Snestrum also happened to upload a review of Draken. Mine is about 600 views, his 107,000, and at first I was a little salty because I saw his video and I thought, oh, of course, well now his video is going to get put further up the search results and I watch it and like, I obviously put more effort into mine, where the fuck's my comeuppance? So why did his video do so much better than mine? Is it actually 178 times better? Well, fuck no. We need to get out of this mindset. It would be so easy for me to point at this as some kind of injustice, to blame the algorithm, but that's a fool's errand. Focus on your own shit. Snestrunk's video is where it is because he's done this for years. His videos are easier to digest than mine. His content is more palatable, plain and simple. I make weird obtuse nonsense in a world where people just want to know what's worth playing. He spent years building up a rapport with his audience and I haven't. That's just the way life works. He has consistent, smart, and inviting video titles that people know to look for. Snestrunk has 100% earned what he has, and I'm not there yet. He was ready for success, and I wasn't. People put way too much stock into subscriber counts. That number, your subscribers, doesn't mean shit, especially when you're small like us. The number of subscribers that you have in no way represents how large your audience is. It doesn't. It just doesn't. Subscribers don't matter. I have a little over 800 at the time of making this. You don't ever expect to get that many views. Ideally, in a perfect world, 800 subs would equate to 800 views. But we all know that's not reality. You want to know a way to measure what your audience really is? Upload a video, don't self-promote it, don't mention it anywhere else on the internet, and then sit back and watch. 
see how many people show up on their own. Well, I did that with my last two uploads, and the answer is about 230. I have an audience of 230 people. You might sit back and think, hey, that's almost 600 subscribers that don't watch my video. That's really bumming me out, right? Well, truth is I look at a lot of channels and I see their ratios are a lot worse. So why is that? It's because the way you earn subscribers is more important than earning them. For example, if you burst into a Discord server and then ask, beg people to subscribe to you, even if you get somebody to do it, they're an empty subscriber, like an empty calorie. You know what, go on Google, look up, I don't know, get subscribers easy or something. And there's a plethora, a buttload of basically what amount to just larger sub for sub scams. You can spam your video to hell and back. You can advertise it all across the internet and you'll get some views, you'll get some subscribers, you'll get some brain dead empty comments. Great video, bro. Great review, bro. But if your videos fucking suck, again, if you are not giving a reason for people to watch, they aren't going to stick around. Begging for subs, that's how you get a bloated fat number next to your name, but it's not how you grow an audience. Now if you're sitting back and you're saying, well shit, who the fuck are you? You're a nobody. Who do you think you are telling us what to do? And you know what, you're right. Why isn't my channel huge? Well, because my channel, like yours, is not good enough to be huge. The only difference is I know it. I made videos for five years and absolutely nobody cared. When I uploaded that Draken video a year ago, I had 200 subscribers. And almost none of them actually watched my stuff. Why was that? It sure as shit isn't because I needed more exposure. It's because I fucking sucked. People didn't watch my videos because I fucking sucked. I made garbage can content. Now a year later, as established earlier, I have an active audience larger than what my sub count was then. No, it's not much, but it is something. It is progress. As for some actual constructive advice, I do have some beyond nobody cares about you and you are not good enough. First and foremost, when making stuff, do not rush your videos out. If you're a small YouTuber, if you're not collecting a paycheck, there is absolutely no pressure to get these things out. Take the extra day, take the extra week, do whatever it takes to make them better. Next, find a niche. Yeah, IGN or Game Explain or the Happy Console Gamer can get away with making generic videos about general topics. But you don't work for IGN, you don't work for Game Explain, and you sure as fuck don't have the charisma of the Happy Console Gamer. Unless you can match Johnny Millennia's charisma, don't fucking try to. Cookie cutter generic gaming content does not cut it on this platform. If you can only make a video or two a month, you absolutely need to specialize. I review Super Nintendo RPGs. That's my thing. You go out and find your thing. It doesn't mean that you need to stick to it 100% of the time. You don't need to box yourself in like that. I mean, obviously, right? The video you're watching right now is not a review of a Super Nintendo RPG. Or is it? So if inspiration strikes, I'm not afraid to go off the reservation. For example, this infamous AVGN video I made. It has a lot of views, but as a lot of people like to point out, just look at the like to dislike ratio. Well, that brings me to my third point. Do not be afraid of dislikes. Do not be afraid of failing. Contrary to popular belief, my objective isn't to get everybody to agree with me, or even to like me, really. Apathy is the worst thing on this website. Not dislikes, apathy. To bring this full circle, remember, by default, nobody cares. They're apathetic. When I make a video, the objective first and foremost is to get people to care. There's as much value in a dislike as there is a like. Sometimes, you just gotta make stuff that gets people talking. Bottom line, every video is a micro value proposition. Everything you make should scream, this is why you should care. Well, anyway, as always, never trust anyone who needs a haircut. New review dropping tomorrow.